Hey there guys, CB from CJB Studios here, and today I'm going to be doing another thoughts and opinions video on a certain YouTuber, and this time it is known as Mila's Mixed Media. Now I know what a lot of you are thinking, didn't you kind of already do something like that with Autism Talks a little while ago? Well, yes I did, but that was, uh, that was talking more about a YouTube series from a YouTube channel and not the channel itself. And I figured it'd be a good idea to, well, why not talk about Mila um, as a whole this time? So, um, let's see. I think I mentioned this in the description of my uh, shout out video that I did for Mila a few months ago. Um, the first time I came across her was back around 2022. It was February 22, uh, 2022. And it was sometime right after episode seven of the Monkcast 2021, uh, the Monkcast 2021 revival uh, season one came out. And at that point in time, uh, the YouTube channel behind it, known as Monkiverse, was originally known as Dominion Media. And Mila herself also went by a different name, known as Mila Loves Monks. And, of course, um, I did not have my own YouTube channel yet. I was still having a lot of my content being uploaded to Han and Leia all the sun at the time. But then when I did get my own YouTube channel, I decided to take a look at what type of stuff Mila did. And, uh, well, one of them was uh, the Chibet's Origins. Now, I do want to make it clear, um, I did not see the Chibet's Origins in its entirety, um, I've seen bits of the first season, um, and given that season two is planning to come out, um, next month, or at least that's what me was planning to do anyway, I think it's best if I actually watch all of season one prior to it. So, yeah, I'm kind of digressing a little bit. Um, but yeah, uh, Monkiverse is actually how I came across Mila. So, yeah, um... That was, uh, that's kind of my history with Mila. As for what I think of her, I think she's a really nice person. And I, I know I keep saying that with a lot of YouTubers I've given thoughts and opinions on. Like, I mean, off the top of my head, The Lion Queen, Masa Garcia, um, Sailor Kirby, Sebastian Segura even. But, I mean, it is kind of a cliche at this point, but it's true. I think Mila is such a nice person, and I'm actually glad to be one of her friends because um, I've done a couple things for her, such as, well, giving out my thoughts and opinions on autism talks, like I said, and of course, Mila really loved what I had to say about that series. I also, well... Gave her two shout-outs, of course. One of them being the aforementioned shout-out, where I just screen-recorded her channel. And, um, the other one being a birthday shout-out, which, of course, it was meant to return the favor of her doing a birthday shout-out for me. And, um, uh, let's see, I've done a couple logo videos for her as well. And, well, yeah. So... Basically, since I got my channel, and well, ever since I subscribed to her, we started becoming online friends. And it is worth noting um, that she was one out of two people that got me into wanting to watch Elvis. She, of course, uh, Mila was, the, of course, the first one that got me into it. Lissette Garcia was the second one that got me into it. So, yeah. And I already did do a review on Elvis, so, Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to end up repeating myself. Um, so yeah, uh, simply put, I think Mila is such a good person. I think she's so nice and she's kind of sweet. And by sweet, I mean, you know, sweet as a friend. I don't mean sweet as in, nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna harp on for that little thing, but yeah. Um, and uh, I think I said this before in, uh, my thoughts and opinions on Autism Talks. I think that series is still really enjoyable, but also very educational and relatable as well, especially given that I myself do have autism. And, I mean, I actually do take a listen to, like, the episodes here and there, 
most of the time I just do it out of, you know, just for fun. But other times I do it, you know, maybe there's something I can learn from these, you know, like being hygienic, you know, trying to be patient with people. And trust me, the whole patience thing I'm still kind of struggling with, but I still learn to control it. And I'm kind of getting off topic again. Um, yeah, I, I'm honestly... I'm honestly thankful that Mila made that series, and I still need to check out all of season one of The Chip at Origins before season two comes out, since, again, I've only seen bits of it. So, <clears throat> um, yeah. Simply put, again, I think Mila is so nice. She's so nice, she's really sweet, and she's, she's just such a good friend, like I said. So, um... Yeah, those are my thoughts and opinions on Mila. So, Mila, if you're watching this, I hope you respect what I had to say. And I also hope that you're feeling a little bit better from, well, being sick. Because I've heard that you've uh, not been feeling really well. So, hopefully this video will make you feel better. And, well, yeah. I don't really know what else to say other than, well, that's all what I can say for... Well, next rest of my thoughts and opinions on Mila, so, yeah. So, I don't really know what else to say other than, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, ring the bell, all that stuff. Mila, if you're watching this, once again, I hope you respect what I had to say on you. And, well, yeah. CB from CDB Studios, signing off. I will see you all next time.